This might be my last harvest of my veggie garden. Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is Dina with Start With Coffee Adventures. I am going to be harvesting peppers, tomatoes, I spied one cucumber, a cucumber. I am going to harvest some mint and some kale. I'm not sure if I'm going to harvest uh, my eggplant over there. There is one over there, but it's kind of tiny. I'm hoping it grows a little bit bigger. Let's get clipping. It's time to pick a patch of peppers. Over here, let's see if I can turn this just a little bit. Over here, it almost looks like there's no peppers at all, but when I start to move the leaves around, I see them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, not the leaf. seven peppers just on that one plant. I was able to get seven peppers off of that plant. They're little ones, little jalapeno peppers. I'm going to do this plant and then that one next. We'll see how many I get off of those. Let me just reposition my camera and hopefully it records the whole time. Even these little tiny ones, I'm going to harvest these because I don't think they're going to get much bigger here in Michigan you know it's going to start getting cold and oh that's actually ha look at that this little tiny plant and a big pepper on it oh there's another one over there now let me turn the camera this way a little bit let me come around this side hopefully i'm not blocking the camera too much and this one two three four five six Seven, I think I saw, oh, yep, eight. Oh, that one fell right off. I definitely don't want to wait for the frost to get them and then I don't get to harvest them. So that was nine off of that plant. Now it's time to get some green peppers. I see three on this plant. One. Two, three. Woo, get rid of the leaf. There we go. There is only one pepper, green pepper on this plant. Oh, it fell right off. Another reason to harvest it. <laughs> it was ready to go. There she is, or he is, the lone cucumber on my vine. My vine is pretty much dead and dying there's a few more growing but I don't think they're actually gonna get to maturity so I'm definitely gonna get that cucumber I'm just now looking again at my eggplant that's here and I'm going to change my mind and pick it. Let's see if I can pull it without. Oh, there we go. That way the critters don't get it because as I was in my garden a little bit ago before I started filming, I found another small eggplant about half this size that was all eaten up, chewed up by the critters. I was away for a few days and that's what happens. Also, they got a lot of my cherry tomatoes, but that's okay. I have so many cherry tomatoes I can share with all the critters. I'm going to get a couple of leaves off the kale plant. I haven't watered it this morning. That's why it kind of looks a little limp. 
but they're still good. I'm going to take a couple leaves off and then I'll water it later. There we go. And saute that up. I'm going to brew up some tea and we like to add mint to it when it's just a plain old like black tea. So I'm just going to cut some of these stalks off and then I will use my mortar and pestle to kind of crush those leaves. I'll take the leaves off. Of course, I wash them first. Take the leaves off, crush them up, and I throw them right into the iced tea. Well, you look at that. Even my small veggie garden that's near the end of the harvest season, I'm still getting a basket full of peppers, tomatoes, eggplants, cucumbers, kale, and mint. There's a slight chance I might get a little bit more out of my garden, but I was calling this my last harvest because I'm not so sure. I have some big changes coming to my garden area for next year. I'll be filming that. I'll be starting it once I pull out all of this old veggie garden. Once it's all done growing, I'm going to clean this area up and then I'm going to completely change it out. Another thing I learned this year, well a couple things, is I didn't quite plant my cucumbers the way I thought they would grow so I have a different plan around that next year you always learn as a garden it is trial and error don't think that because you did it wrong that you're you know you don't know how to or it's too hard no you have to learn and evolve and sometimes there's no right or wrong way but you can always make observations in your own garden because everybody lives in a different area has different amounts of sun and shade and rainfall and all of that and temperatures. Um, so I'm going to also make an, another change next year. One, this is Russian kale. I like the other kind of kale. Not sure what it, the name of it, but it's more curly looking. And I really only need two plants. I got six plants of this, which way too much. I gave two to my neighbor. She doesn't even know what to do with all the kale coming off of these Russian ones. So. If you really like a lot of kale, I would definitely suggest getting this variety of kale. Uh, there was another plant right here, but I just tore it out because I meant I went to like move the stalk a little bit, and it was actually like disintegrating in my hand. It was like mushy, so I just yanked the whole plant. That just tells me that it's dying all together, and so. I have just way too much kale, so I have these four plants, well, three left now. Um, I really only need two, so then I can think about other things that I can grow in my garden. I really liked doing the eggplants. I don't know that this was the best area for them. I didn't get that many eggplants, and they weren't quite the variety I was looking for. I was looking for the fingerling ones. They literally look like long fingers hanging off the plant. And so I'm going to probably do that different next year. But you'll have to stay tuned for all of that. But definitely subscribe to my channel. Put any comments down below to see what my next stops are on this garden. I have my side bed garden, garden that I'm going to be working on. And then next year I'm going to be working on the garden behind my garage. I'm also going to be talking all about my autumn flower beds. Like how do you transition your flower beds for every season? So that'll be upcoming videos. I also travel a lot and I like to go to restaurants and I do boating. So there's plenty of adventures. My, my channel is Start With Coffee Adventures. So it's adventures in my veggie garden, my flower garden, adventures out and about. I'm a skier, so there'll be skiing ones in the winter. That'll be coming up. Uh, that'll be in February, you know, roughly time frame. And so there's a lot more to talk about. Lately, I've been doing recipes too. I have a whole playlist for my recipes. I have my Jack Russell Terrier Lola. So we, there's gonna be lots of doggy videos and any of her doggy friends. So there's a little bit of variety on my channel. Also, I wanted to mention that I have another channel. I am a reseller on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. And I have a whole reselling channel. I do it part-time. 
and uh, my channel is called uh, Left Lane Finds. I will be putting a link down below to that channel in the description as well as in the comments. So if you want to see other things that I do, that's my other channel. This is Sweet Autumn Clematis. It smells so good. And it's one of the last sources of nectar or pollen for the bees. They just love this, or any pollinator. Thank you for watching. 